Welcome back, guys, to Doki Doki Literature Club. I know it's been a while since we played this game, but I wanted to restart it from the beginning because, you know, you're in my profile picture, and I got a rep Doki Doki, one of the all greats of video games, one of the all greats for this type of horror genre. So, without further ado, welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club. Well, of course, I gotta put the classic name, guys. I can't can't change it up that much <laughs> you feel me I gotta go find a little there's a dash there you are there you go oh wait I think I'm forgetting a little something where are you my little squiggly line little sexy squiggly line there you go Jaden no. my squiggly line I need my squiggly line I, I swear I need it. Where, where to go? Squiggly. Oh damn, did I won't let me add my squiggly wiggly? It's kind of fucked up, but it's okay, whatever. Alright, let's get it. Dun, dun, dun. Mm, 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 mm. God, I miss this music a lot, I'm not gonna lie. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase me after this... <laughs> I almost feel like better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Uh, uh, I overslept again, but I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Uh, you say that like you've been thinking about ignoring me? It's me, Jaden Cole. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, and I don't want them to think we're couple or something. Uh, fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have anyone gonna be mean even if you don't want to. <sighs> Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. Uh, by the way, Jaden King, uh, have you decided on a club to join yet? A uh, club? I told you already, I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Uh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm not sure it's possible I did. In one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever the fuck she says because she's a little batshit crazy. Sorry likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime since, you know, I'm kind of a fucking loser. But you know it's okay, because I'm a loser that everyone loves. Uh -huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or any skills before college. Because, you know, you're a fucking weeb and a loser. And you're not really loved. And you kind of look terrible. And your haircut's pretty shitty. And, uh, nobody loves you. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? I know you're happy now. But I die at the thought of you becoming a me. In a few years, because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me I'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why did I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. So then you guys know, if you haven't seen the Doki Doki videos before, more or less, the rundown I'm going to give you guys real quick. Uh, I do impressions for these videos of all the characters. Some of them might sound shitty, some of them might sound good to you. I don't give a fuck, I don't really care. I'm enjoying myself. If you haven't seen those old videos, I recommend trying them out, watching them out. I never finished the game, so now I plan to finish the game and record it all. Brand new, just for you. Got you. 
just for you, Papi Chulo. The school day's an ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. <sighs> clubs. So he wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Sayori. Sayori must have come into the classroom all spacing out. I look around and realize I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting there and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm in, kind of impressed. You need to wait up for me. It's going to make you late to your own club, dummy. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought you know. <laughs> no, know what? Well, then you can come to my club. Sayori, my voice is killing me already, and I'm still doing your voice. It's only been like fucking 30 seconds, and I already need to drink water. I hate this. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious H2O. Mm. You can tell this shit's premium. Let me read it. Purified drinking water from great value. Yep, that's the good shit right there, boys. Sayori. Yeah? There is no way I'm going to your club. Wow. <laughs> Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title of vice president. Inherited more like because there was no other people that really wanted to join the club's kind of shit. But you know, whatever works for her, I guess. That's my little Sayori Yuri. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less because I hate fucking reading and I'm a loser. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Fuck that. Come on, please! Why do you care so much anyway? Well... I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. <laughs> uh... And those can make cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep, you dumbass! This is why you still have a bull haircut. This is why I can't deal with your shit. This is why your hair is losing, okay? Like a dumb bitch, I just slap you across the face. I can't really tell if Suri is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all this out. I let out a long sigh. <sighs> you know, sometimes I just want to slam your head against the wall. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Throwback. DDP, throw it back, throw it back, throw it back. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the hall, upstairs to a section of the school I rarely visit, knowing that my fate has been sealed for the eternal abyss of death, and sadness, and depression, and anxiety, and everything that gets worse and worse by day by being a fucking loser. A weeb. Especially if you're an Attack on Titan fan. Yeah, you heard me. I don't give a fuck about you guys. Say you're full of energy. Swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here! <laughs> I told you, don't call me a new member. I don't know any of these bitches, okay? Stop treating me like I'm property, okay? I'm a very independent man. Uh, I glance around the room. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sarah always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Jaden-kun. What a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. I'm trying to change up their voices a little bit, get a little bit upgrade, you feel me? Oh, words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly hentai looking bitches. God, I could tell once I hop off this game, they're gonna be on the hub. Am I right or am I right? <sighs> Overwatch Rule 34. <laughs> A hood classic. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. S sorry, damn. These tsunamis nowadays, am I right? Natsuki. 
<laughs> the girl with the sour attitude, his name is apparently Natsuki, is one I do not recognize. Her small figure makes her look like a first year student, like a fucking child. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets ready! Sarah says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Oh, I probably should have said it quietly. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. She's kind of loud as fuck. Anyways, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparatively more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Uh, well, it's, um, nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like- Oh, fuck. <laughs> come back, come back, roll the back, roll the back. It sounds like you're ready for Monica, is that right? That's right! It's great to see you again, Jaden kun Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other well. We rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. I remember her as the fat-ass cheerleader with the big fine fucking giant fucking bazooka cannons i like to call that shit on her chest i call them the middle cannons of destruction them shit hit me in the face back and forth delicious monica was probably the most popular girl in class smart beautiful athletic milk cannons of justice basically completely out of my league so having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little uh y you too monica Hey, I made them! I'll get them! Sorry, I got a little too excited. <laughs> I'm like a diabetic about to want to go into a coma! And how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room, where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! <gasps> Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look with little pots. The wishes are drawn of icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cool! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know, just hurry and take one. Sarah grabs one first, then Monica follows. It's delicious! Sarah talks for a mouthful and already has managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around my finger, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki's quiet. I can't help but notice but her sneaking in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? <laughs> it's not like I... <sighs> Stupid fucking boy. I hate you. Just wanna let you know, I'm looking into your soul for you to die, bitch. Die! Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything? Uh, I thought you technically did. Sayori said, well, maybe. But not for you, you know? Baka! Alright, alright. I hear Banaski's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places the heap in front of us, before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers give us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated, Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know... I believe you, relax. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself from relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and smiles at me. So, what made you consider to the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Siori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Siori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone! Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You should probably be a board member of any major club, honestly. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know, to be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. 
It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather have something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader! Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in this club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. <laughs> you could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting all, all their efforts to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow to this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though, I still don't really know if I can keep up with their love of enthusiasm about literature, because literature fucking sucks, and I don't feel like reading, I watch movies. So, Jaden Kuhn, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Uh, manga. I'm gonna quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly pe perks up. Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Mm, not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke about thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyways, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri chooses the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fancy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me, and telling a good story such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her readings. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up. She finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer could so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyways, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. I read a horror book once. It was called Goosebumps, The Return of Slappy. I just simply grab something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, you might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Literally. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you? I guess you could say that. What if story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world. If only for a brief moment. Ugh. I hate horror! Oh, what's that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart to me for a split second. N never mind! <laughs> That's right! You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting, you dumb bitch. It looks like you were working on a poem called... D don't say it out loud! And <laughs> Give that back! Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything is just so cute, just like you. Sorry, slides up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them anyway. Uh, not a very competent writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have your experience writing too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share it for her. Oh, I guess it's the same for Yuri. Oh, I want to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Huh? Huh? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. The next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, um, uh, uh. 
Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little bit more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Jaden Kuhn? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> There's still one problem. Uh, what's that? Now that we're back to the original top, let me join the club. I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sure, he must have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um... Uh... Shit. I lose my train of thought. All four girls are staring back at me with dejected eyes. Oh, but... Uh, but... Oh, I'm sorry, I thought... Y you all... I I'm defenseless against these girls. I mean, two of them got gigantic cannon titty blasters. The other one's a fucking lolly. Which I don't even really know how to feel much about, but you know, sure. And then the other one's my best friend. And, you know, I'm kind of generic MC Coon, you know, you feel me? How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the first I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right! Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy! She wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, hey, hey! You really did scare me for a second. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed anyway. That makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Uh, thanks, uh, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone, remember today's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting we could all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Jade Kuhn, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> e yeah. Can I really impress a class star Monica on my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. And while well, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Jaden Kuhn, since we're right here, uh, do you want to walk home together? That's right. She and I never walk home together anymore because she's always staying after school for clubs. Uh, sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. Holding my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori. Wow! Natsuki. Ugh. Yuri. Oh, wow. <laughs> that sounds so bad for Yuri. Hold up, let me redo Yuri's. Welcome now. No, welcome. It's the Literature Club. Okay. And then Monica. Welcome to the Literature Club. Also, I did not mean to moan for Natsuki. My bad. My bad. <laughs> Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a Literature Club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow close to one of these girls. Alright, I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Oh, It's time to write a poem, pick up your words your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most, and that includes Sayori, Natsuki, and don't forget about uh, 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 Yuri. Yeah, we writing on the beat. Yeah, we got pleasure. Then we gotta make it sweet. Then we gotta see how the ambient goes. Yes, it goes about the grave mint. Oh no, happiness. That's all I wanna have. But if I wanna do that, I have to make a mask. Then I have to finish the task and realize that I need to make one of these girls super high. On happiness, of course. Because, you know, you don't do drugs in high school. Uh-uh. But, I'm gonna try going for... er 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 mm mm, -mm. God damn this beat eat, eat is super clean. Mm mm. This beat goes super hard. Yeah, I think I'm super hard. Wait. Okay, bouncy. No, 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 no. We're going for the straight Sayori route. Uh, anxiety. No, 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 no. Depression. Uh, uh, uh. Incapable. Fuck. Shit. Bitch. Pussy ass. Uh. Disowned. Fuck. I'm going. God damn it. Uh. Uncanny. God damn. I might as well, might as well go for Yuri. Uh. Nibble. Uh. Meager. Uh. 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 Eternity. Jesus. I can't get any of these right. Wrath. Yo. I keep on getting them all wrong. 
sensation. Uh, special? Sugar. Music. Dance. Embrace. Uh, hopeless. Uh, imagine. Oh, fuck. Uh, vivid. Fuck. Skirt. I fucked that up so badly. I'm so sorry. I think I got more Yuri's than anything. Okay. That's the end of this episode. Yeah. I'm gonna blue ball you because I used to make these episodes super fucking long. And I'm not doing that. I'm taking my sweet goddamn time with this series. So, if you want to see the next episode, go ahead, comment down below. Tell me that damn cosmic... Your videos are so sexy dad delicious, and I would love to see more of your sexy dad delicious content because you were an absolute giga fucking chad. And, uh, yeah. Love you guys. Till next time. Cosmic exciting off right about now. Ooh. Ah. Okay, go. Yuri, that's the man. She the girl with the master plan. And if you got an issue, you gonna need a tissue. But no worries, cause Natsuki's not gonna miss you. Uh 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 uh. Must be in a fit if you wanna cry. Then go ahead and lay up on Sayori's thighs. You looking for some trouble? Make a super double. As Monica comes in, fly like a shuttle. There's no escape from these beauties. That's not even a lie. And if you got an issue, best call up Bill Nye. I'm not a science guy, but these ladies look at math fine. Dressed up to impress age, just like fine wine. Uh uh.